Authorities have said they didn't have enough evidence to charge Hewerman with Brainerd Barnes' murder at the time of the other charges. So what's changed? Let's bring in News Nation senior correspondent Brian Enton, who's been following this case from the very start. What are we learning about this fourth murder charge, Brian? Well, Elizabeth, uh, it's interesting. Prosecutors are staying very, very quiet tonight, not giving any official information about what is about to go down tomorrow. But we know that it's going to be a big development. There's this hearing that is scheduled in the morning, and then they've got a big press conference scheduled right afterwards. Uh, and all indications are that they are going to add on this fourth murder charge uh, to Rex Hurman. You mentioned the victim's name, Maureen Brainerd uh, Barnes. Does not come as a massive surprise because you'll remember in in the bail paperwork, uh, investigators spelled out very, very clearly that Rex Huerman was the prime suspect uh, in Maureen's death. And she was also found very, very close to the other three victims there on Gilgo Beach in South Long Island. Uh, but they were building, they were gathering more evidence, perhaps more DNA. And now something has happened where we believe they have enough. Uh, and that is what is about to go down tomorrow. So again, the hearing uh, will be tomorrow morning, uh, Elizabeth. I heard that they were doing some more extensive and elaborate DNA testing uh, on Maureen, the, la the fourth victim, on, on whatever they found, whatever DNA samples they found, and trying to cross-check those with, uh, from Rex Hewerman. I'm curious, though, Brian, have you heard anything from Rex Hewerman's attorney today? Yeah, and what you said makes a lot of sense. It seems like there was DNA testing going on behind the scenes. From what we've been told, her body was there the longest, so perhaps needed the, you know, the most intricate of the DNA testing to have an official confirmation. In terms of his, uh, his attorney, though, we haven't heard a thing. They've stayed quiet. We're not sure that they even really know officially uh, what's about to happen tomorrow, so uh, we're just going have to have to wait till tomorrow morning. Well, they soon will know in court in Long Island, yeah, where exactly. you will be as well. Brian Enden, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.